Mine? Should we kiss? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? I'm Diego Rodriguez. And I'm Steven Grocky. Welcome to Colonial Corner, episode 8. Hey Diego, have you heard uh, what's going on in room 161? No, what's happening, Steve? I don't know, it's pretty crazy. We should check it out. We should. So, I'm a senior uh, in broadcasting too, and at the beginning of the year, I took this class because I wanted to further my hobby in filmmaking, content production, and editing, uh, being around these people. Uh, I was hoping I would meet people who shared similar passions as me. Uh, clearly, I didn't. Um, a lot of my classmates in here keep me distracted when I'm trying to work, um, and they steer me in the wrong direction, basically, and it's starting to get a little distracting. Uh, I really love this class. I still think we can put up quality work. But uh, for the most part, something has to change because I think we're trending in the wrong direction. I'm doing ASMR. I'm chewing gum. Can you hear it on there? Ready? Did you hear that? Okay, so after our first project, um, we kind of got derailed a little bit. Um, I can't really put my finger on it. Um, like I said before, maybe some of the classmates have something to do with it. Um, I hate to throw him under the bus, but Liam to start is definitely one of the biggest reasons uh, we've been off topic. And I think Nardi's played a big part of that too. No one cares if your baby's <laughs> This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about that gets me mad that Nordy does. This right here is I don't think I'm a distraction at all in broadcasting, honestly. And I think uh, it mostly stems from Tyler because he's the leader of our group and uh, I kind of just feed off his energy. So whenever he starts to act up, I just feed off of that. But then, you know, Did all the same gets put on me because I'm a junior and he's a senior. You're just gonna hear goat noise in the background. There's a no fish and no eggs. Eggs. You're saying eggs. You're going eggs. There's no A in eggs. No A. So how do you say it? There's no A in eggs. Stop doing coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you eating hardcore? Loud noises. Nardi says you're the main distraction in this group. Is this true? All right, it's not me or Nardi. We get distracted, but Liam is obviously the main distraction. Okay, can you shut the up? Yo, come on, just say whatever. Say, say the very basic Liam. Just say, yeah, I'm doing this fine. I like, like, despite having to say, despite having some fun, I really don't think this class is that distracting our group works well. Can you have to talk about our group? Because I'm not gonna say your name in our group. Just say exactly that. Uh, do it. Yeah, I. Wait, hold on. There's a red light. You can see it though. I'm not colorblind. Uh, despite having fun, just I think that we work perfectly together in our group. <laughs> Uh, alright, um, no, I'm gonna say my own thing. <laughs> y'all. I wanna see it! Lie to me! I really like the group I'm in with, you know, Tyler, Vontre, and, uh, Nardi. It's pretty good. Uh, we have a good time every day. We film some good things. They let me in it. It was a little bit, uh, like, you know, they didn't want to, but, uh, they let me in it, and now they really like me, I'm pretty sure. And it's really good that I'm in the group, and I appreciate them for that. He's not even in our group. Hey Steve, what's the biggest lie you've ever told? I've never told a lie a day in my life. Me either. Let's see what everyone else has to say. The biggest lie you've ever told your parents? <laughs> Come on, answer truly, please. I don't <laughs> No, I can't do that. <laughs> um, I wasn't distracted when I crashed my car. So one time in the summer of 2017, my mom made me track, um, like have a tracking device on my phone because she didn't trust me and Jordan. But I just left my phone and we went to Dunkin' Donuts for like seven hours. Biggest lie? Yeah. Um, that I don't oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't really tell my parents a lot of lies. 
saw someone die. What? Uh, I dropped my my expensive laptop once. Probably when I told them I was sleeping over a friend's house, but I really was not. I don't in my room. Yeah. I really don't know. I guess I'm asleep. I do my homework. I took the car out, my mom's car out, before I had my license and drove it. That I was somewhere where I was not. Okay. I told them I was staying at a friend of mine's house, and uh, I was not. Um, it was a huge party that uh, I wound up going to. Um, it didn't work out well. The uh, police showed up and uh, got a little ugly. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, I didn't brush my teeth. <laughs> um, but I'm always respectful of my teachers. Probably I love them. Damn, I didn't do my homework. In fifth grade, fifth grade, and uh, my friend was gonna do something really stupid. My friend was gonna make a bomb out of a WD-40 can. So I took all the matches that he had <laughs> because he was gonna light this can of WD-40 on fire. And then I burned all the matches and I threw them in the woods and I accidentally set the woods on fire. And the cops had to come and they had to use the fire, fire trucks to put it out. And my neighbor saw me running away from the woods while it was on fire and I, I told my mom that I didn't do it. And then the cops came to my house later that evening and it's like, you burned down the woods, didn't you? <laughs> Hey Diego, you want five dollars? Sure. But you're gonna have to reach for it. Hey! hey. <laughs>
Well, guys, that's it for episode eight of Colonial Corner. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Hey! <laughs>